hi guys good day and welcome back to my channel this video is long overdue a lot of my subscribers have asked that i recommend sunscreens which they can use to protect themselves from the sun so today i will be reviewing and also recommending six different sunscreens from which you can choose from the first on my list today is the neutrogena beach defense sunscreen lotion spf 70. this sunscreen has a very mild and non-greasy consistency it is dermatologist recommended and the amazing thing about this sunscreen is that it is suitable for both adults and kids and it oftentimes comes in a small package which is about 29 ml so it makes it convenient for you to carry about don't get me wrong it also comes in the bigger package which is about 196 ml so it all depends on the size that you want this sunscreen helps to protect your skin against the signs of sun damage especially while you're having a fun day at the beach this sunscreen is fast absorbing it is lightweight i almost forgot to add that this sunscreen is water resistant up to 80 minutes which simply means that you can use the sunscreen and go for a swim and it is also paraben free which makes it very safe for use on the skin so the next on my list is the fair and white gold spf 50. as you all know fair and white is a very popular brand in the skincare industry this sunscreen offers maximum protection against uv light and it will keep your skin healthy and youthful this sunscreen is light textured and um, it helps to prevent against sunburn premature aging and skin discoloration induced by uv exposure most sunscreens usually leave behind a white residue this is because of the presence of zinc oxide which is an important ingredient in formulating a, a sunscreen product. So that is why most times when you use the sunscreen, they leave behind a white residue. But when a, when a sunscreen is well formulated, even though there is zinc oxide present in it, it leaves no white residue behind after application. So this is one of the good qualities of the Fair and White Gold SPF 50. After application, it leaves behind no white residue. However, if you have an oily skin, I would advise that you do not use this product for a sunscreen because it's actually very greasy. I have used this product before and I realized that after application, my face becomes very, very oily. So if you have an oily skin, I would advise that you please um, don't, you can use other um, sunscreen, but don't use this one if you have an oily skin. So the next sunscreen I'll be reviewing today is the Bao Aqua Moisturizing Repair Sunscreen SPF 30. This is a very good sunscreen, especially for your face. This is coming straight out of Asia. It is lightweight, water resistant, and this sunscreen will give you the necessary amount of protection while you're out there in the sun. The Bao Aqua sunscreen is made with natural plant essence like vitamin C. It nourishes the skin, locks in moisture, it also prevents sunburn, which is what a sunscreen is supposed to do. It also has vitamin E, which is an antioxidant, which helps to enhance the role of the sunscreen. And the amazing thing about this sunscreen is that it is suitable for all skin types, be it oily, dry, combination, normal, this sunscreen is suitable for you. So on to the next one, we have the Avino Protect and Hydrate Sunscreen Lotion SPF 30. Avino is unarguably one of the most famous skincare brands and they also have one of the best sunscreens. The Avino Protect and Hydrate Sunscreen Lotion SPF 30 is water and sweat resistance. Can you beat that? <laughs> it is absolutely oil free and you can get up to 80 minutes of protection from just one single application this sunscreen is hydrating it is non-comedogenic which simply means it will not clog your pores and it helps to protect your skin from sunburn and signs of premature aging hmm. i'm giving it to avino this time so look who we have here the clinic mineral sunscreen fluid spf 50. clinic is one brand that is very good when it comes to dealing with sensitive skin so trust me when i say they make the best sunscreen for people with sensitive skin the clinic mineral sunscreen fluid spf 50 is oil free and fragrance free which goes to show that it was specifically designed for people with sensitive skin that needs protection from the sun so this sunscreen 
is so mild and gentle on the skin to the point that it can be used even around the eye area. Can you beat that? So the last on my list today is the Neutrogena Lip Moisturizer with SPF 15. Did you know your lips also need protection from the sun? When leaving the house, please do not forget to apply the Neutrogena Lip Moisturizer with SPF 15 on your lips. This would help to protect your lip and also keep them hydrated and soft. Having reviewed the different sunscreen, I'll be showing you guys how to apply your sunscreen to achieve your desired result. Number one, apply your sunscreen liberally or generously on your face, your chest, your neck and every other part of your body that is exposed to sunlight. Don't apply your sunscreen in the sun. Apply your sunscreen 20 minutes before exposure to sunlight, not when you're already in the sun. Do you understand? Apply your sunscreen before you are exposed to the sun, 20 minutes before you are exposed to the sun. Then thirdly, reapply your sunscreen every two hours. Your sunscreen should be reapplied every two hours. This simply means that your sunscreen should be in your bag or in your purse while you are going out. And using a sunscreen is very, very important in your daily skincare routine. It doesn't matter whether you are applying a lightening skincare product or a brightening skincare product or a moisturizer. You should always include sunscreen in your skincare routine. However, when using a skin lightening um, product, your skin becomes more sensitive to the sun. So when using a skincare um, when using a skin lightening product, it is a must have. Like I used to say, sunscreen is no longer a should have or might have. Sunscreen is a must have. And you must include it in your skincare routine daily. So I hope you guys found this video very, very useful. And if you did find this video useful, Please give this video a thumbs up and um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe by clicking on the button below. And if you know any of your friends or family that you feel this video might be helpful to, please do not hesitate to share it with them. And um, thank you once again for watching my video and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.